you see the differences, right? Between progress and this is almost finished, right? Um, what I wanna show is this uh, field. When I saw the photograph of this uh, um, um, field of flowers, I was overwhelmed. But because it was a lot of texture of the flowers. But when I see this, this is basically a lot of sh uh, shadows and light. So I clearly painted darker green in a negative space of the flowers to develop from this stage to this stage. Okay, so whenever you see some texture, you feel like you wanna do a lot of brush marks, but uh, still it's good to break down to shapes. Small, even the shapes are very small. I want you to treat that uh, each texture has all these different shapes. Okay, that's something I, I wanna emphasize, all right? Uh, painting yellow, everywhere and then overlay the translucent green and then one more darker green on top. I always recommend gradually starting with lighter and darker subsequently. That's something I recommend, okay? But today's demo includes a little bit different. I wanna talk about also painting something lighter on top of darker, okay, all right? All right, I did a little bit more progress from last time I gave a demo. And uh, it's still uh, mostly QI, uh, just the hues only, no black and white at, it, at this point, okay? Now, I like to focus on some areas, like these people here. Those people have some light in shadow, right? Okay. Part of the body is lit, part of the body is shaded, right? Even the hand, arm, face, and hat has light in shadow, right? So if I wanna introduce that here, so far there's nothing. It's just one, one color to the face, one color to the hat, and even almost one color to the arm, right? So let's talk about how I develop from this point. If I just look at let's talk about this hat. Maybe that's easy. Okay. So this is actually that's the green. which was combination of yellow and blue. So I make the green. But then I like to have light introduced to the hat. So I'm adding white. In that case, adding white can make your paint to be opaque. And it's possible to paint something lighter on top of darker. Okay, that that different that's different from what I just spoke, right? So if it's already dark and you don't wanna you wanna still uh, recover some highlight, you can make the paint to be opaque. In that case, you can paint over. Okay, I feel like a this part can be even slightly darker. So in that case, I'm gonna have a little bit black added to the uh, green. 
and paint over. Okay, let's talk about this man's face. Again, this man's face looks like a John Lennon in a way. There's some shading and also highlights, right? So I will do skin color with, um, this was a combination of a violet and yellow. That kind of yellow and violet to be mixed. And then now I can make that much lighter with white added. darker part of the skin. It's more shadow here. Okay, I can do same thing to this man's face, which has light and shadow like that. So this one, I want to start with the shadow. I'm looking at the shape of the shadow, okay? I'm not using that much brush mark or anything. I'm trying to be loyal to the shape. Anything I see that this particular shape of particular shadow, there must be some shape, okay? He's starting to look a little bit more three-dimensional than before, right? And if I think about this arm here, as some area catching light, some area shaded, then I can have lighter on top half of the arm. So it is possible to paint 
something lighter on top of darker color. It is possible, but the paint has to be opaque enough by having enough white added to it. All right, I hope that's convincing enough. I'm just doing very fast job around here. Um, so I, I wanna just uh, keep painting. <clears throat> 